Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how you can set up basic flip-flops because I'm using flip-flops quite often in my redstone builds and I want you to be able to use those in your redstone machineries as well. A flip-flop is basically something that stores data for you. You can see here a very simple setup that I'm not using quite often, but it's good for demonstrating what a flip-flop does. So this here is called an RS flip-flop because it can set, that's the S, and reset, that's the R in the flip-flop. If I press one input here, you can see that the output moves over to the other side and it will stay there, set, as long as um, this uh, won't be reset, which I can do from this side over here. So now it's reset to the default state and if I press the reset button again nothing will happen because it's already reset. So that is what an RS flip-flop does. As I said I'm not using this quite often because there's a very neat design with some redstone torches and redstone for this. It looks a little bit complicated but actually it isn't. It does the same thing that this one does over there. You can see that there's a redstone here next to the block with the redstone torch which powers up this redstone line up here and keeps this redstone torch here deactivated. If I now deactivate this redstone torch the redstone up here will turn off which will turn this redstone torch on and activate the lower side which will keep this redstone torch here turned off. Let me do this. So now the output switched over to this side and if I hit the button again nothing will happen because this torch is already turned off. If I then activate the upper redstone line here, this redstone torch will turn off, which will then deactivate this side and also activate that side. And that is how this RS flip-flop works and it's also silent. An RS flip-flop is not always the thing that you need for your builds because sometimes you don't need to set and reset an output but just toggle it. Therefore, there is something called T flip-flop. A T flip-flop toggles the output which eats input. So if I just press the button here you can see that the output toggles over to the other side and if I hit it again it toggles over to this side again. This here works on a concept that you've got a one tick pulse generated with the sticky piston over here which will then go into another sticky piston and if a sticky piston gets a one tick pulse it will just uh, retract the block or extend the block but can't do both so that is how this flip-flop works. Of course this is quite noisy and most people use this but I have a favorite design that I want to show you over here which is not using any pistons but actually a dispenser with a water bucket. If I activate this dispenser the water bucket will be uh, yeah, put out and so there is now a bucket inside. A bucket is stackable up to 16 buckets while a water bucket is not stackable. So the redstone signal that you can get from this dispenser using a comparator is variated by extending the water out of the dispenser and retracting it and so you've got two different states that you can store with a dispenser and changing the input by just pressing the button will change the output of this T flip-flop. So I hope that these flip-flops here are useful to you. If you liked this video then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then have a great day.